to find the surface area of this, first of all, what we need to do is we need to find the um, perpendicular height of this first of the triangle and so as the perpendicular height of this triangle as well so that we can find the area of this side and we time 2 that give the answer in the back as well and then we find the area of this front here and time 2 that give the area of the back as well and then we can find the area of the base and then we add all of them up that will give us the surface area of this uh, pyramid so to do this first of all we construct a triangle triangle first so that we can find the uh, perpendicular height of the um, triangle so because of this side here all the way from here to here is six centimeters so therefore this side here the length of this must be half of six which is equal to three centimeters so now we can find the um, value of x so to do this because this is actually a right angle triangle so we use Pythagoras theorem because x is the hypotenuse so opposite right angle so the longest side so which is your Pythagoras theorem so x square equal 5 square plus 3 square and then which give me 34 and x is square root of that which is 34 so I live in exact form first so it makes it easier so we construct a right triangle on the front first so now let's look at the triangle here which is make it white value so these to find the white value is actually a right angle triangles as well so opposite y is opposite of the right angle that is the hypotenuse so that's the longest side so y square is equal to 5 square plus 2 square which give me 29 so y equals square root of 29 so again I live in exact form so it's just easier so I don't have to write in decimal so for later when we do find the area it's easier to write square root of 29 that's all it is so now I have two perpendicular line which is x and y so that becomes square root of 34 and square root of 29 so now I can simply find the area of the front which is the base is 6 this is the base is 6 and the perpendicular height is this one here which is square root of 29 so area of a triangle is a half times base times height because we are looking for the um, triangle at the back as well so this one the back so the front and the back is the same so to find the area front and back all together instead of we we'll find one at a time which is time two so give the area front as well and the back so this is the front so we we'll give us the front and the back so all I do now is to substitute the value in so which is a half times six times square root of 29 and time two that is area front and back so that will give me 6 root 29 again I write in exact form first easier that's all so all I do is I go cancel this out so that give me 6 root 29 otherwise you can just use calculator a half times 6 times a half times 6 times 2 so give me 6 so that means 6 root 29 now we know that the area of the right hand side here so which is this is let's say right hand side and then this is the left the back here which is left hand side and they're both are the same so all we need to do is just fight one side and we time two again so area of that side is the base is four and the perpendicular height is 30 square root of 34 so area of a triangle is a half time base time height so we want two left and um, right hand side so two of them that the same so it's just time two so all i need to do now is just substitute the value in so which is a half time base which is four the height is square root of 34 and we time two so i can just simplify this one out so that give me four square root of 34 so i'm just writing exact first just easier that's all 
So now, the what's left is the base. The base is six times four. So now I can just write surface area, add them all together, easier, because six times four is we can we can add on top of this. So area surface area is six root twenty nine, which is front and the back, at four root thirty four, which is both left and right hand side, and plus the area of the base, which is six times four. So to put that in calculator which give me 79.63 square centimeters. That is the surface area of this pyramid. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. To do this, first of all, what we need to do is we need to find the um, perpendicular height of this triangle first so front and the other side so to do this first of all let label this one here is x first so now because from here to here is 7 so it's from here to here must be half of 7 which is 3.5 so now we can find x x is the hypotenuse so now x is equal to square root of 8 square plus 3.5 square and square root of that so which give me 76.25 so I just write insert form first easier that's all then let's say this we label this is y so because of from here to here is 10 so this must be half of 10 which is 5 so 5 centimeters so y is equal to y is equal to 5 square plus 8 square and square root of this which give me 89 so I just square root of that so now we have x and y so this means that we have let's just write this down first so we have 89 here so this is square root of 89 and this one here we have 76 so 76.25 square root of this so now we can simplify the surface area of this pyramid now so first of all we're gonna find out the area of the front and back first so the front is this one here so which is a half time base time height which is 10 time square root of 76.25 square root of that and do not forget we have to time 2 because front and the back are the same so I can just simplify the 2 out so which is 10 square root of 76.25 so I just try this insert form first so it's easier for me that's all then now area of left this is left hand side right hand side and the left hand side is the back of this so which is right left hand side so which is a so let's say a s size so which is equal to a half time seven times square root of that see which is 89 so time by seven times square root of 89 square root of that and then do not forget to time two because fr uh, left hand side and right hand side both of them so I can simplify by crossing out or just you calculate out, okay? So 7 square root of 89. Then the, the base is rather easy because its base is a rectangle. So which is area of the base is 7 times 10 is a rectangle. So I can just do surface area all together. So surface area is equal to the front and the back, which is this one here, 10 square root of 76.25. 76.25 square root of that, of course. And then you add the size, left and right hand side, which is 7 square root of 89. And then add the base, which is 7 times 10 is 70. Or just write 7 times 10. So now I just put this in a calculator. 2, 2, 3. 
five, nine, and so on, because we want to correct to two decimal places. So which is right up to here. And because of the number that after five is nine, which is greater than five, so which is instead of 35 become 0.36. So the answer is 223.36 square centimeters. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So before we do this, so you know that there are four sides are the same because it is a square pyramid. So to do this, we just construct a triangle triangle first. So this, I just construct triangle on this side and this is a triangle triangle. And this is triangle triangle as well for this uh, the, the sides triangle triangle. So this side here. So all we need to do is find this area and we time by four because four triangle are the same. So because of from here to here is four. So this must be half of four, which is two centimeters. I just write two. So now I just made this is X. So we, we can find x, x is equal to 2 square plus 5 square and square root of that. So 5 square is 25 plus 4, 29 square root of this. So I just write an exact first. So now surface area, I can do all together because it's this one quite simple. So which is area of a triangle is a half time base, so which is 4, and time the perpendicular height, which is x here, so we time height, which is square root of 29, so square root of that. And do not forget, we have to time by 4, because 4 sides are the same. And then I add the base, which is 4 times 4. That's all. So now, all I need to do, I just type that in the calculator. Or you can just simplify this, give me 2, 2 times 4, 8. Otherwise, because it's correct to one decimal place, I just put that in a calculator straight. So which equal to 59.0813 and so on. But because it's correct to one decimal place, I just write up to here. Now, before I write 59.0, the number after 0 is 8. So we round up. So the answer is 59.1 square centimeters. Thank you so much for watching.